Hey Sugar, I'm Roxa Rockstar Bakes and this week I'm obsessed with two things. One, the Aladdin movie. My favorite Disney movie growing up was Aladdin. And two, pointillism. I'm really excited to be showing you this technique in buttercream format. Pointillism is the technique of taking paint and making lots of small dots to make a larger image. This week, I am going to decorate a magic carpet pointillism sheet cake. Let's get into it. Mm. Before I get started with this project, I prep everything on the tool card so I'm not rushing around. I print and cut out Aladdin's magic carpet on a regular eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. That's standard. And here's the tool card. Take a screenshot or save this and I'm going to link some recipes for the cake and the buttercream and where I found my favorite tools in the description below. For the base of the cake, I crumb coat and frost a cold sheet cake blue. That means I've refrigerated the sheet cake overnight. I use the bottom part that touches the cake pan when I'm baking as the top to achieve the straightest edges. I just keep pulling away the frosting from the edges towards the center to make sure everything is flat. Refrigerate your cake for 15 minutes so it firms up and then we can move on to the next step. Now I'm applying the parts of the template to the cake so I can outline everything. I find it way easier to use a longer skewer, but have no fear if it's just a toothpick that you have around, you can use that. Remember to peel everything away before piping the buttercream because eating paper is no fun. If the cake starts to get mushy, just pop it back into the fridge. Here is a close up and an example of piping the little dots. I'm demonstrating part of the piping in real time, but speed up part of the cake so you're not sitting here forever watching it get done. I start with part of the border to give the rest of the project a guideline. I wish I could more easily see the cake, but I'm reaching so I can be out of the top view camera, which I show in a quick preview of on my Instagram page at Rockstar Bakes. I try to get a good angle for seeing the piping, but I'm still figuring out my camera angles. So let me know below how this is working for you. I think this is a great way to see the close ups and the details that are happening. One tip that I have as you're doing this, alternate the spots you're focusing on so the buttercream doesn't get too warm or soft. You can pipe down the sides as well if you want that fuller coverage. In the Aladdin movie, who is your favorite character? I love Raja. What a great sidekick. And do you like the cartoon animated Disney movie better or the live action? So for the final piece of the project, I make the tassels for the rug, his hands and feet. I do this on a silicone mat that I've rubbed shortening all over so the tassels don't all stick together. You can buy the fondant in yellow or color it like I'm doing here. Add the dot of color towards the center and just fold the outside in. Just keep folding towards the center. Here are the different options for the clay extruder. I choose this one because I want a tassel-like effect. To use a fondant extruder, roll your fondant into a cylinder, screw off the end, insert the fondant, cover it again, and twist the end. For this project, I try to make a piece that's about seven inches long and fold it over. After doing this about eight times, I consolidate until I get this volume of threads here. When I'm trimming the ends, I try to be a little random so all the threads look separate. 
Once I get each one to the right size, I make a little indent with the back of a knife, and then I add a little round wrap that I make with another extruder shape. Then place it on your cake. Decorating success. Subscribe for a new video every Saturday. I hope you have a stellar week and I'll see you soon. Bye. Second, I'm 